Welcome to the latest Designs for the Web tutorial here on YouTube. And this tutorial is going to be a short walkthrough demonstrating how you can create your own short codes to be used within your themes or for your clients to use within your themes on WordPress. So uh, what is a short code? A short code really is just a little bit of code that you put into your functions file and it's callable by just a, a regular um, text call by yourself or the client within a post. So let's just hop right into it and take a look at this in action. So I have a post here called short code in action. We're going to put some brackets around a short code that I've created. And I've created one just for a call to action button. So you can see just as simple as it is here. I put CTA inside of the brackets. Here is the post page and you can see right now there's nothing there. But through the magic of short codes when I click on update over here. Alright, we're going to go back to the post, refresh the page. And sure enough, there is that call to action button that I've created in the functions file. So, how exactly does this magic occur? Let's take a look now at the functions.php file in WordPress. All right, so here we are inside of the functions.php file, and here is the function. Well, this is here. This is the function that's going to allow me to use that short code CTA. All right, so let's go line by line and take a look at how this actually works. As is always good practice, the first line is just a comment so that you know exactly what the short code or this function is and you know you never know down the road you go back and look in your functions file and you got a whole bunch of stuff in there especially if you're piecing it together as you're learning on the go and so this would be very helpful to you down the road so you know exactly what it is that you are looking at alright our next line of code of course is a function this is what we want the computer or what we want WordPress to do when we call on the short code so inside of these curly braces that's where you're gonna put in there whatever you want your short code to be. In this instance, I was creating some HTML that would output a button. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste that in so you can see that. Okay, so here we have now the code that I'm going to be using that's going to create the button. And you can see here that I had to make sure I included the question mark and the um, greater than sign at the beginning to escape as HTML so that we're not outputting anything to the page but we want this to be interpreted as actual HTML and then down here we have to finish it with this closing PHP tag alright so you can see that I've included some style but of course if you were going to do this I would recommend putting that style inside of the style.css sheet so that it's not on the page itself but just for the sake of this tutorial I included it right inside of the element and here is the link and the text that's going to give us that button okay and last but not least the most important part of our short code function here that we're creating is we need to add this short code so that we can call it <coughs> from within WordPress <coughs> excuse me just by simply using our short code call. So this is pretty simple. It takes two arguments or attributes. You can see here the first one is the name of our short code inside of single quotes. And then the second piece here is the name of the function. So you can see this here is the function right back up here. Inside of single quotes and then a semicolon to end everything. And now let's head back over. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Let's head back over now to WordPress so that we can see once again how we're able to just call that. All right, so one more time back here in the uh, edit post page in WordPress and you can see here's the short code that we created over in the functions file. So bringing that functions file back up, we have that CTA and essentially what's happening is wherever we call this CTA inside of those brackets, WordPress is going to interpret that as the function call to action button that I've created here. So when we put that CTA in the post and we click on update right over here to the post you'll see it does output the HTML. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a little something. If you have any questions be sure to check out my website 
www.designsfortheweb.com or you can hit me up on the email with mike at designsfortheweb.com.